Hey everybody, happy Saturday. I have a Kohl's and a Dollar Tree haul for you today. The Kohl's is a clearance haul or clearance order. And the Dollar Tree is stuff that I picked up yesterday. Yesterday was Black Friday. I did not do any big Christmas shopping, Black Friday shopping, anything. But I did have to go to the bank and right next to my bank is a Dollar Tree. So I said, you know what, let me just stop in there and see what's new. So that's what I did. So first we're going to get to what I got at Kohl's.com. It's a clearance shopping on Kohl's.com. And that's how I usually shop when I shop on Kohl's.com or in general. When I go into Kohl's, I go right to the clearance section. Very rarely will I spend um, full price or pay full price at Kohl's or anywhere really I'm trying to open this bag so we're opening this together I know what's in there at least I think I remember what's in there now I have on my phone a screenshot of the um, the the order but I um, on my phone too so I wrote down what I spent so before I show you what's in here, I got four items and it came to $99.96. But with the clearance and markdowns, that took $20 off. And then Kohl's was having a special event like you type in like the special code, say it was save 20, S-A-V-E 2-0. That took $23. 99 off so everything that I got was $55.97 so I have a savings of $43.99 and that is why I shop the Kohl's clearance section so I think we're just going to have to rip into this bag I tried to, tried to cut it open and it's just not working maybe it's the scissors all right If you're still with me, thanks. All right, here we go. Okay. So I got two sweaters and two nightgowns. So. Ready? Okay. First, we'll look at the sweaters. Now, these are the S.O. brand. A little string on it. All right, so this is a pullover really like this color it's like a dusty rose or a mauve all right so it's it's gonna hold it in front of you in front of me show you see that so it's got a gathered sleeve kind of um puffy out there what do you call that i don't know but anyways the sleeve is gathered and it has a v-neck and the bottom is gathered on the waist bottom is gathered on the waist so here's the back of it really nice and warm and soft so i've got that one fold it up and then i got one just like it in this really nice blue i love this blue and it's the same the so brand um, same puckered on the sleeve there. I like the puffy balloon sleeve. Actually, the shirt I got on, I got this at a thrift store. Savers actually has like a bell sleeve. I just like sleeves like that. So anyways, same thing. The V-neck and the sleeves and the around the waist. So I got those. And hold on, there might be a pack and slip in here. Usually there is. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Here it is. Hold on. I'm going to fold it down. I don't want you to see my address. So here we go. There it is. These were um, originally $19.99. And I got whatever uh, discount off them. So put those two sweaters and then my nightgowns. All right, this was originally $24.99. It's the Croft and Barrow brand. I'm a nightgown girl or nightgown lady. These are really soft. So anyways, this is just, um, here's the front. 
and it goes down probably a little past my knees, maybe down to my shins. I'm not a very tall woman. There are pockets here. There's probably another pocket. I don't mean to keep cutting in front of, uh, putting this in front of me, but there's two pockets. And there is, it's got a V-neck, got a little button there. Yeah, see the design, really pretty. Really pretty nightgown. And these are so soft. They almost feel like that river wash. Do you ever have river wash? When I worked in nursing, when I used to wear scrubs all the time, I used to get the river wash scrubs. But yeah, so there's one nightgown. And then I got one just like it, same style, same everything, but it's like a gray plaid. See that? It's got a little, it's like a gray background with like the blue in the plaid. And there's little um, little lace, do you see that? A little lace, yeah. So there's that. There is that. So, you know what, I'm gonna back this up a little bit and I'm, I'm not gonna put the nightgown on or the sweaters, but I'm gonna back this up a little bit and hold it up against me and you can see. Okay, all right, so there is the sweater. This comes down to, bring it down a little bit. This comes down to um, my thigh. So it's a longer sweater, which is good because that's how I like my clothes. Um, kind of covering a little bit. And it's got the nice sleeve. We'll gather there. Yeah, so there's that. And there's the back. And here is the mauve one. I really like this color, but yeah, see, it's nice and long, yeah. All right, okay, back on the couch. So I'm going to go through my Dollar Tree bag, which ripped, so, actually when I was doing my thumbnail, I picked it up and it ripped, and there we go. So anyways, I didn't go into the Dollar Tree because I needed anything, but like I said, I was at the bank, and right across the parking lot's a Dollar Tree. I said, you know what, let's just go in and see what we got. So it's a little crooked. I am sorry. All right, so first, this was in the Dollar Plus section. This is a plush throw, comfortable and durable. This was $5. I got this um, for the back of my recliner. I always have a throw, and it's, you know, usually themed around the season. And I need to decorate. I think tomorrow I'm going to do my Christmas decorating. But anyways, this was um, just what I was looking for. Now they had um, for $5 a bunch of different decorative throws. But the quality or the thickness of it was, um, you know, they varied. So there was some that were like really thick and nice looking like this for $5. But then there were some that were really thin. And they wanted five dollars for them too so i got this one see it's red obviously with some snowflakes and stuff yeah so i got this one and then i got because the eyeglass cases that i have in my pocketbook my purse or whatever you want to call it i call it a pocketbook um they're the ones that are like hard shells and they they snap close well the the um whatever the snap thing not the snap thing what do you call it the hinge the hinge robin is broken and the glasses just fall out of it all the time so long story short i got two eyeglass pouches and these have the um snap thing there so i got one this almost looks like a leather but it's not a leather i got that one and then i got this purple one or it's like a, um the lavender color and it's kind of like woven maybe a little closer kind of weird can you get birds out there kind of all over the place with this today so i got these two these two eyeglass cases and then oh here's my wrapper from my snack that i had I had a little snack in my car these are the kellogg's little fruit crisps so anyways, that's not from the Dollar Tree. That's from my mouth, actually. All right, so then we got the LA Colors 
powdered blush. This um, is a little more pink than the usual, um, like not orange, but the darker colors that I got. So I wanted to bring a little pink to my face, not so much orangey. Or maybe I'll just continue to use this little pink highlight for the winter. Yeah, so I got this. I have never had a problem with um, Dollar Tree cosmetics at all. So yeah, got that for Dollar Twenty-five. Pretty shade. Then I got these two things. Sorry if this is loud. Because I saw them and I said, you know what? These are really pretty. I don't need dishes. I don't need coffee cups. I'll put this down. One more thing in that bag. I don't need dishes. I don't need coffee cups. But I said, you know what? These are really nice looking. So here's the coffee cup. You can use this for coffee, tea, hot cocoa, anything. But it's just, it's, I think it's simple, but it's, nice it's a really nice looking um coffee mug doesn't say ho 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 merry christmas or anything on it it's just the nice winter scene and then i got a little saucer to go with it they had the plates and you know the big plates but i said you know what this is something that i would like to have um just you know cocoa and crackers and cheese or cookies or anything. This is just something nice to have while I'm watching TV or something or even in the morning. Then I went to the food section to see if they had my favorite cookie from the Dollar Tree and yes they did. The oven baked fudge mint cookies which are a dupe of the Girl Scout Thin Mints. In fact they taste identical. They look identical. They taste identical. I might even say these are better. They're definitely better in price. So I said, you know what? This is good because what I can do with these, and this would even make a nice gift for somebody, is I can have my tea, coffee, or cocoa, and then I can have my plate with some of these cookies, right? And then I can cozy up with my blanket, right? My blanket's upside down. So this would even make a nice gift for somebody. So go to your Dollar Tree. So let's do the math here. This was $5 if we want to do a gift here. $5, dollar $1.25, and $1.25 is $2.50, right? It's going to be $2.50 and broken in a minute. So $2.50 and $5. $7.50, right? My math's right here, right? And $1.25 for the cookies. What are we up to? $8.75, right? And then you could get um, a box of hot chocolate, um, some tea, little K cups, or even just some coffee or whatever. So for under $10, you could put together this nice little winter cozy Christmas time or any time basket or you could put it in a bag anything so under ten dollars that would be a great gift right I didn't mean to turn this into a video on how to you know make a gift for under ten dollars but yeah definitely could so I think there's nothing else in this bag nothing just some wrapping from this so yeah that is what I got I'm kind of uncomfortable on my couch today that's what I got at Kohl's and that's what I got at the Dollar Tree. So, today is Saturday. You should see my living room. You should see all the Christmas stuff that I got all over the place. My Christmas tree is over there in front of the television. Um, I haven't decorated it yet. I'm not sure where I'm putting it. I'm looking around. I'm sure you can see my eyes going around. I don't know how I'm going to put the tree up, if it's going to be on a table, if it's going to be standing alone, or what but I have a lot of decorating to do. And I think I'm probably gonna start doing that tomorrow, which is December 1st. So, I hope you're all well. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I had a small, quiet Thanksgiving. I did go to my mom's, but it was small. It was quiet. I think there was about five of us, five of us, six of us. Yeah, about that, again. I didn't even bring any leftovers home. I did the cook the, the cookie. I did the turkey here. I brought the rest of the food to my mom's. I cooked it there. 
cleaned up, put all the leftovers away, and I forgot to take some home with me. I didn't even take any pie home with me. But anyways, whatever, right? So I hope you're all well. Thanks for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.